it's going to then pop open in an html file and there you go you have this app that was created that has animations and look at that guys this looks definitely really really cool it's finally time to introduce to you an open source and local alternative to cursor a lot of you guys have been commenting on my videos about cursor asking why they should pay 20 dollars a month for a vs code fork I totally get the frustration for paying for tools, but I don't see the need for all the hate for Cursor because it's definitely a great tool and it has a unified platform. Cursor does offer solid features like the Composer, which is the new feature that enables you to utilize an AI powered pair programmer. You have the ability to auto edit, you have a Composer that can basically generate everything for you. It can automatically suggest code completion, generate code snippets, assist in refactoring, and save you a significant amount of time, especially on complex tasks. But you may be wondering, how can you access all of that for free and locally? Well, I have a solution for you, and this is a great alternative to Cursor that is completely open source, and you can easily get started with it locally today. Now, before we even get to that solution, the crazy thing is, there's already so many alternatives like my recent video on ZAI, which is a new open source AI code editor. You may have also heard of Codium, which is really cool in my opinion. It is quite buggy though, but that's the only downside. And it's a free platform that is similar to Cursor. You also have Tabby ML and so many others. It's just great to note that there's so many alternatives and it's great to see how fast the space is evolving. Now, the solution you guys have been waiting for is quite simple, and that's by installing VS Code as your editor and integrating various extensions to get the same sort of features that you would get with Cursor. This is by installing some stuff like Continue Dev, you have Claude Dev, you can even install Ader as a pair programmer on the side, or even Super Maven. Essentially, we will be utilizing VS Code as our code editor. You can also utilize ZEI, but the only problem is it doesn't have multi-line edits, which is why we're going to be integrating continue dev as an extension within VS Code. It has the ability to utilize the tab command, the autocomplete, and also introduce multi-file edits to your code base. What we're also going to be utilizing is Claude Dev, and the reason why is because it's going to be able to do many of the features that we see because Composer or Cursor have, such as code generation. Yeah, I have the ability to have predictions, smart rewrites have an AI chat where you can chat with your code base, use images, ask in the web, as well as having the ability to instant apply. And obviously, Claude Dev is a great replacement to the Cursor Composer feature where it will be able to execute commands on your behalf, making changes by installing different dependencies, making changes to the dependencies. And these are the things that will be a great supplement in comparison to the Cursor features that we've seen so let's get started what i want you guys to do is install vs code install it for your operating system in this case i have it for windows so simply install it and we can then go from there now before we get started i definitely recommend that you take a look at the patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week to access local models you're going to need to install olama so simply do that with the link in the description below i'll leave all the links that i used in today's video there as well with Olama, you're going to be able to access all the state-of-the-art local open source models, such as the Llama 3.1 model, all the way to Mistral, and you can simply install all of these locally with Olama. Now that we have VS Code installed as well as Olama, what you can do is open it up, and what I want you guys to do is click on the extension tab over here. What you want to do first is simply install Continue Dev, and just simply search up Continue Dev, and you're going to be able to find it over here. Now, once you have found it, just simply click on the install button. It's going to then install it and you're going to be able to access it on the left hand side over here. Now that you have this installed, you can then go and search up Claude Dev and you can simply just install that within a couple of seconds by just simply clicking on the install button over here. And there you go. You have your two main uh, extensions that uh, are going to basically replicate whatever cursor does. Now, guys, very recently, Claude Dev came out with a new feature where it's going to enable you to execute commands directly in your terminal. And it's going to make the coding process much faster, similar to how Cursor is, or even faster in my opinion. There's also this new proceed while running button that will allow Claude to keep working even while commands are running. 
meaning if there is a server error it will fix it as you basically go and this was something that was just recently updated and released and this is basically gonna elevate this whole solution that we are introducing in this video so now that we have our extensions installed as well as our code editor we can now configure and add our model so head over to continue that first select the model uh, click on that and you want to add your model now in my opinion the best model that you would want to utilize for both of these two extensions is going to be the Anthropic Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model but obviously if you're looking for a free local solution you can then click click the provider such as Olama or even LM Studio Llama file as well as Open Router to utilize a local model that you can install onto your computer to do so you can just simply click on Olama click the model of your choice once you have installed those models you can then click on configure and once you have clicked on the configure tab over here you can change the model of your choice now in my opinion the best uh, i would say tab auto completion model is going to be the deep sea coder models if you have the hardware requirements definitely install this 16 billion parameter model and in this case you're going to be able to then simply just copy the model card and you can then go back into VS Code in the Configure tab and paste it in over here, the model of your choice, and just simply paste it again without the colon. And once that is done, in the new file, you're gonna be able to then access and utilize this auto completion from Deep Sea Coder. Just need to make sure that you have Olama opened up on your, uh, I would say, icons. And once you have that open up, you're gonna be able to utilize this Olama model. And once you have selected this, you can then utilize the auto completion feature similar to how you would with uh, Cursor. Now, what you wanna do next is go over to Cloud Dev and you're gonna need to now do the exact same thing and configure the API key of your choice as well as the provider. You can utilize Anthropic, you can utilize AWS Bedrock, GCP, as well as OpenAI compatible models. But in my opinion, if you wanna use an open source model or a local solution, you can use Olama or Open Router. Olama is the best. You can, uh, in my opinion, utilize any Olama model that you've installed, just simply provide the model name and you can even give it custom instructions and just simply click on done. And you're gonna be able to utilize that open source model that you've installed. To install these Olama models, it's very easy. They showcase how to do so. Simply just open up your Olama or your command prompt, open up Olama, and just simply paste in this command, and it will start installing this model. And in my opinion, it's very simple to get started with Olama in comparison to other local alternatives or local open source large language model alternatives. So now that you have your models as well as all your API keys uh, configured, you can start utilizing this solution that is a great alternative to Cursor. One thing I wanna mention is that if you click on the continue dev extension, click on the three dots of this left-hand panel, you're gonna be able to access keyboard shortcuts. These are important shortcuts that you can utilize, such as highlighting code, getting suggestions, as well as auto completion. So essentially with Cloud Dev, you're gonna be able to generate all of your code. It's gonna auto complete, going to install the dependencies similar to how the composer is going to do it the continue dev extension is going to basically do multi-line edits for you with the same sort of features like the command k feature that cursor has as well as having the ability to basically generate code for you and then implement it into your code base for example you can ask it create me a basic html button with with uh, animations and you can then simply send this in it'll then generate the code for you and then you can then also add it to a current file so you can insert this you can also copy this and you can apply to the current file so now let me showcase the capability of both of these two features within vs code now in this case i'm going to request it to create a tetris game that looks like a retros 90 game i told it to create it end to end with animations make it look really good so now it's gonna take a couple of minutes to create this. It's gonna make the API request and it's gonna basically generate and approve based off of the plan that it creates for me. So it looks like it had created a plan. It wants to create a new file in this particular area. So let's click on save. It wants to create another new file. So let's then proceed forward and let's now have it make the process to execute these commands. 
and at the end it'll even ask you to run the command to start this up so let's now start it up it's going to then pop open in an html file and there you go you have this app that was created that has animations and look at that guys this looks definitely really really cool this was developed within just a single prompt guys this is the capability of cursor guys and this is why i keep telling you guys to utilize cloud dev as a free alternative and say if you want to utilize the control k feature that you would with cursor you can utilize the alternative solution with continue dev which is control i and you can then simply just get the highlighted code over here and get suggestions on it and you can also have it so that you can utilize all of these different code commands as well as these shortcuts that can help you out such as debugging you can cancel requests as well as edit the highlight code now i know for the solutions that i used was basically utilizing the entropic models which might not be free but you can utilize something like deep sea coder and this model has definitely been getting better and better it's basically on par with gpt4 omni in terms of code execution as well as in various factors of refactoring or even making small commit changes now another alternative is the gemini flash model now in this case they have a free of charge rate limit and this is obviously up to a certain amount and it is pretty cheap in my opinion in comparison to other models and providers and the great thing with the gemini team is that they have been rolling out with lots of different price reductions in terms of the output so that's a great thing from uh, google themselves they have been continuously working to provide cheaper alternatives for developers and like i mentioned at the start you can also have Ader as your pair programmer and if this is something of your preference you can rather use this instead of cloud dev and you can basically import the code within vs code for the auto completion feature that continue dev provides now this is obviously based off your own preference but you can see that all of these different solutions combined is definitely a great alternative that is fully free, open source, and it's a great alternative that you can utilize locally in comparison to Cursor. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter where you can gain a lot of different sorts of AI news on a daily basis. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different subscriptions to AI tools completely for free and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and take a look at these previous videos that i've made on various tools as they're definitely beneficial for you but with that thought guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it i'll leave all the links that i use in today's video in the description below but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas